Here we are on the Poster Builder tool from Cube. We'll go over the layout and make two sample posters. Up at the top are the selected images that we can place in the working area to include in our poster. Below that is the drop down menu for the available poster sizes. Then the border yes and no buttons and the header and footer buttons. Below those are the image spacing and cropping buttons. The portrait and landscape orientation buttons. Then the different poster layouts you can choose from. At the bottom is the background color selector drop down menu. Over here is the working area where we will build our poster and to the right of that are the tools you can use on the objects in your poster. First let's click on the drop down menu to select the size of the poster we'll build and then change the image spacing from no to yes. Down here I'll select the poster layout I want to use and change the background color to blue by clicking on the drop down menu to get to the color selector. You can use the auto flow option up here to quickly place your photos in the layout you selected or you can drag the photos into the working area from the selected images tray. Here I'll drag the last image I want to use into the space here on the left. Notice the color of the handles around the image you have selected in the working area. Green indicates good resolution, yellow is ok, and you'll want to replace any that have the red handles around them due to their low resolution. Next we'll add a header by clicking on the header button and entering our text into the text box. Similarly, to add a footer, click on the footer button and enter your footer text into the text box. And that's our first poster. Let's clear it and make another poster using some different options available on Cube. Click on the delete all to clear the working area. First we'll change the background color to black. Then uncheck the grid snap option so we can place our images in the poster without the constraint of the grid positions. I'll drag three images into the working area for this new poster. I can resize any of the photos in the poster by clicking on one and dragging a corner of the handles to make it larger or smaller. You can easily reposition the images by clicking and dragging the image to the position you want. On the third image, I want it to be the top layer of the three images. This is done by utilizing the layer order tool to the right to move an image to the top of the layer order. To add text, drag the text icon from the selected images tray into the working area. Enter your text into the text edit box. I'll drag a second text box down here and enter in my text. A text box can be repositioned and resized just like a photo in the working area. Here the text attributes can be modified including the opacity, which I have changed to 50% in this example. You can also add text by clicking on the add text button from the tools on the right. Click in the center of the text and drag it to the desired location in the working area. From here I'll click on the next button to go to the preview screen. If you like the preview of your poster, you can select check out. If you want to make changes, click on the cube back button, not the back button on your browser. And that's how you use the poster builder tool on cube.